Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. It's me, Majority. And what you see before you is my humble Wii collection. The Wii is a console that is a little bit too easy to collect for. Since owning it, I've amassed way more titles than I'm capable of playing. So I've spent the past few months trying to filter out some of the games I wouldn't play. What you see before you is the remainder. The ones that I have started playing, the ones I've finished, and the ones I'm excited to begin. Please kick back and enjoy the collection video. So I'm not going to talk about every game, but I definitely want to say that I'm very proud that my first game in the collection is a Sega title. I've only put a good hour into this game. It is one that would be more fun multiplayer, but you really can't go wrong with a twin stick shooter, especially when it has Sega Master System style case artwork. You go, Sega. Deca Sports 1, 2, and 3. I can thank Lost Gamer 8519 for shouting these games out. These are pretty much the knockoff Wii Sports titles, but they're all pretty fun. I've tried some of the mini games. I think I like dodgeball and basketball. You've also got badminton, synchronized swimming, half pipe, hockey, and they're cheap. Plus, how can you be mad at that Hudson B? I sure can't. Dragon Quest Swords is frequently called a generic Dragon Quest title, but I enjoy it. I had fun playing through it start to finish. I thought it was rich in the world, the characters, the monsters. And plus, where else are you going to play Dragon Quest on the Wii? Here in North America, that's a bit tough. But fortunately, this title lets you do so. So a little anecdote about Excitebot's Trick Racing. This was one of the first games I acquired when I first purchased my Wii Mini. When I had the Wii Mini, I was using it as a party console. And all my friends ever wanted to play was Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. So I bought this game in the hopes that I could kind of win them over towards something that wasn't a Mario party title. And I'm happy to say that it kind of worked. After a while, I got my friends into it. It was a different kind of experience and, you know, got them up and moving and really excited and into the racing in a way that Mario Kart kind of doesn't. I love the customizable vehicles. I mean, you really can't be mad at any game that lets you play as a ladybug or a beetle for that matter. And it plays pretty well, it is responsive, and 
I enjoy it today. Oh man, I wish I had someone special to play this game with. Shoutouts to dschult 3 who's also a big fan of this game. He's a friend of mine from the Classic Game Room forums. I don't want to say too much about it, but this is the kind of game that I could grow old with. You know, after a while Mario Party and Monopoly both get stale, but this is a game that will be fun 10 years from now. As it is still fun 10 years from when it first came out. 10 years, is it? Let's just say 7 to 10. So we don't piss off the... Um, perfectionists. Closing off stack one with a questionable title, it's Furu Furu Park. Who's it for? It's for you. Ha ha! Actually, it might not be. This is a compilation of what are either unfinished or completely generic minigames. I love the shooter stages. I wish they were full games. This collection harkens back to a lot of the Taito classics, but it just doesn't make the cut. The Taito Legends games are way better, but the nostalgic in me still enjoys this game for what it is, even if it is a little bit disappointing. Those anime characters are beautiful though. So this might be the part where I get the most controversial in this video and say that this is one of my least favorite Zelda titles. I've tried it a number of times and I've never finished it. I got pretty far at one point, but the game plays a little bit slow. I'm not crazy about the whole light and dark thing. I like the concept. I like that it's darker than where the 3D Zelda games had gone before, but I also I'm not exactly pulled into its world. I appreciate it, but I don't think it's for me. Still, one of these days I do want to finish it.
All right, so this is my second Xseed title that I've shown off so far, and I haven't played any of these titles by Xseed. Nothing against the company, but it's one of those genres? No. How am I going to put this? It's one of those games that whenever you see a game by this company, you grab it. Kind of like with Fragile Dreams before, that game's not easy to find. And this is more of the same. I don't know why I grab it other than the fact that it could be a lot of fun because people say it is. I hope to prove that right, but I have to try it first. I can't make any assertions without that. To be honest, I think Furufuru Park looks a little bit more kawaii. But it can't be wrong if you're the king. Okay, so this is Mario Kart Wii, a game that by no means is spectacular, especially compared to the other well-established Mario Kart titles. I think there's Mario Kart games that I prefer more, but I've got memories with this one. Uh, one of my girlfriends, when we were going out, we would play this game, and she always wanted me to lose. And she tried really hard to beat me. It's just unfortunate that I'm really good at video games and she never beat me. So I tried to really hard to let her win. I tried to like go easy on her. I think I might let her win once and um, you have to be careful when you have a girlfriend and you play a video game with them. You don't want to go too easy but you also don't want to make it seem like you're going easy. So, I still appreciate the game for that. For <laughs> um, being approachable for non-gamer girls. Mario Kart Classic. Alright, so with Monster Hunter now getting a lot of notoriety for the most recent iteration, I found that I might be interested in going back and playing Try. Trying Try. Why? I don't know. I feel like I'd like to try one of these massive games that is not Skyrim or Final Fantasy XV. But still involves that kind of simplicity of like destroying monsters and foraging. And this game was beautiful when I played it on the 3DS. I imagine it's going to look even better played off the Wii. So that's one of the reasons that I hold on to this title. It's worth a try. Plus it has the classic controller support.
So there's something really exciting about owning a pinball game on a video game console. I only own five in my entire collection. I've counted. And this is one of the least spectacular of them, but it has a great throwback effect. It really has that 70s, 80s arcade feel, which is not something I know much about because I didn't grow up in that era. And to see it preserved is a nice touch. I mean, to be honest, I can't think of the most recent pinball game that's been released. That makes me happy. So, even if it's not the best pinball game in my collection, it's one that I'm happy to have. All right, this next title, it has taken me ages to find. I've been looking for this game for three years, for a decent price. And I finally found it, I took the risk, I bought it online, and I'm so happy I now have. Sheeran, The Wanderer, by your favorite, Atlas. You see that, the T, and the T, and the T. We were meant to be together. It's a T Lux. Man, I'm so excited. I just got this in the mail today. Alright, this may actually be the most controversial point. I know it was uh, something else I said before, but I actually kind of like Soul Calibur Legends. I haven't put more than half an hour into it. I am a fan of the original Soul Calibur games. I like the one on the Dreamcast, and I like Soul Calibur 2. This game is different, but it's got the classic characters. I appreciate it, and I do want to finish it. If my opinion changes, I'll be sure to let you know.
So I know a lot of people prefer the sequel, but I'm actually a big fan of the original Super Mario Galaxy. That's a game that really changed how I envisioned video games to be. And I know a lot of people gave it smack for either the gravity or the uh, Wii mote controls, the motion controls. But I enjoy it. I think that the motion controls are benign. I think the gravity makes it really mind-bending. And each of the worlds are interesting. The power-ups are good. I'm not a big fan of the spring. To be fair, I haven't finished Super Mario Galaxy 2. But with how much I enjoyed the original Galaxy, I know I'm in for a treat. I probably should say a word about this. A lot of people prefer Melee. I'm actually a Brawl fan. I think the characters that were added were better. The visual upgrade is astounding. And there's just a lot of stuff in this game overall. I'm not going to say it's a better game than Melee, but it's a nice enhancement of Melee. Even if the combat mechanics are slightly skewed. Meta Knight. <laughs> Looks like I went a little out of order, huh? Oh well. It's okay, because this is a game I wanted to talk about, uh, Rodea the Sky Soldier. Because this is a game that everyone talks about, but not because of the actual game, just because of the fact that it was released in 2014. I still enjoy this game. It's a little challenging to get the controls down, but there is an art to it. I want to commit to this game. I've put a good amount of time in, but then I dropped it. I feel like this is a game that has its identity and was worth being released in 2014, but it was just a little bit too little too late. I can't make that assertion until I finish it, but I appreciate that it exists. Rodia! That's what she sounds like. Last but not least, can you guess? Wii Sports Resort. I actually have Wii Sports hiding somewhere upstairs, so my bad. I didn't feel like looking for it. I've put zero hours into this game. But I have played it. I've played it at a friend's apartment. The basketball is amazing. The archery is pretty good. I think the fencing's okay. I don't remember much else about it, but this is a game I would like to give a chance. And I'm glad to have it. It was really expensive for a while, but I'm glad it went down in price. Why?
because everyone needs paradise. So here it is, the Tower of We. Yikes. If I had to pick a favorite, it would probably be... I don't know. That one. No, that I just... I said in my video it wasn't that one. Um... Jeez. Man, it's too hard to pick. They're all good for different reasons. Um... What if I just went like, yeah? Or if I just picked up my telephone and went, yeah? I wouldn't appreciate cleaning it up. But as you can see, I've got enough games on this console to last me until the next Nintendo console. So which ones did you see that you were interested in? Which ones have you played? Which ones have you enjoyed? What do you like about the Wii? Anything? I like that. And that. But yeah, great console. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you thought of the collection video. This is a first for me. Now I'm going to have to disassemble this tower. Yikes.